today you are going to look into how to refactor uh, common examples in your R spec uh, so that we can use uh, shared examples in order to reduce uh, repetition this is just to show you how to keep your specs dry as, as much as possible so um, I have a I have a working project over here and we are going to use it to refactor common tests yes so let's get into it so the common the common example that I currently have is this one so when you when user is not authorized it responds with status code 403 and I'm making the request and then I'm expecting the response so this this context is also available here it's also available here and it's also available here so as you can see uh, the repetition it's being re it's being repeated multiple times so so you're going to dive into shared examples so shared examples is a way to group uh, common examples into one into like a one container and then you can simply call that container each and every time you want to use it so I'm going to create a file named um, unauthorized unauthorized uh, user shared example dot rb and then uh, we're just going to add the common uh, frozen string literal true then uh, aspect dot shared shared example and then you're going to call this an authorized authorized user and then um, the next thing is now to define uh, to move this common logic from here just going to copy that and paste it here so unauthorized user context when user is not authorized uh, it responds to status code 403 but now uh, the problem arises from here so how do we ensure that when we call it from this because this is a delete uh, request and this one is a put request so how do we fix that? How do we ensure that it is independent of any route, of, of any method or any endpoint that it, it's being called upon? So in order to do that, um, we're just going to do away with this and leave it like that. Hmm. So I'm sure you, you must be wondering how will it, will it work now without the endpoint being given yeah so uh, it's it's going to work uh, the the technique that we are going to use um, is called um, what is that name yeah providing context to a shared group using a block so uh, yeah you can see oh have a typo here shared examples and then um so let's use it in this part so what you're going to do you're going to just delete everything over here and delete that one just going to leave the request as it is and then now we're just going to type in it behaves like an authorized Unauthorized uh, user. 
and then do and then uh, you're just going to call uh, you're just going to call the request in a before block so that before this example is run it will first make the request and then we will be able to access the response inside the examples without this without this let me just delete this uh, it won't work on its own like that so let's see it's just like i'm using a uh, guard spec guard which runs test which run tests automatically so um yeah do you see this exact expected the response to have status code 43 but it was nil so it's nil because we have not made the request to the appropriate endpoint and get the response back so if we do that now everything now should be green yeah so it's this easy i'm just going to cut this again it's going to get this and then get this and so this and just say yes like two and get this before before block passing that one Uh, it will be headers. I uh, should pass in headers. Unauthorized user headers. Yes, green again. Uh, let's go to this. This. that one again it behaves like unauthorized user D. copy that one pass it inside the block uh, this again Add. What did I do wrong? Oh, we forgot before. So before, open that one, close it. Uh -huh. This, this, Maybe that one. So wrong. It behaves like an erased user. Do copy that one. Okay. Uh huh. This one again. Uh, this expectation uh, behaves. Copy that one. No the rest is a and then before open, open, close that one. Oh, okay. Where did I go? Before, why do I keep forgetting this before? So before, close. Uh -huh. Then the ready refactored. Yeah, we and, and we are done. So do you see the goodness of using uh, shared examples? So what I, the approach that I normally like to use is to just uh, even if I'm duplicating most of my code, I'll just uh, do that way first and then later come and refactor by doing away the common stuff. So that's it for using shared examples.
I hope you've learned something. Okay, see you.